Ephesians 4. Until we all attain to the unity of the faith. Ephesians chapter 4 is a continuation of Paul's letter to the Ephesian church, where he focuses on the importance of unity within the body of Christ. In this chapter, Paul urges the believers to live a life worthy of their calling and to strive for unity through humility, love, and spiritual maturity. He also emphasizes the importance of each member of the church using their spiritual gifts to build up the body of Christ. Exegesis by Sections and Verses Verses 1-6 to Unity in the Body of Christ In the opening verses of Ephesians 4, Paul urges the believers to walk in a manner worthy of their calling. He emphasizes the importance of maintaining unity in the body of Christ, exhorting them to be humble, gentle, patient, and bearing with one another in love. Paul highlights the unity of the Spirit, emphasizing that there is only one body, one Spirit, one hope, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and one God and Father of all. Verses 7-13 Gifts for Building Up the Body of Christ in this section, Paul explains that each believer has been given grace according to the measure of Christ's gift. He references Psalm 68 verse 18 to highlight that when Christ ascended on high, he gave gifts to men. These gifts include apostles, prophets, evangelists, and shepherds who are teachers. These gifts are the equippers. These gifts are given to the body of Christ to equip the saints. They are not the ones who do all the work. There is far too much work to do. It is the saints who have been equipped to do the work of the ministry. If you are a believer, then you are one of those saints. You are one of the workers. Paul emphasized that the purpose of all these gifted saints is to build up the body of Christ until we all attain to spiritual maturity and have unity of the faith and knowledge of the Son of God. You have a spiritual gift to be one of those builders. Apostles is a term that comes from the Greek word apostolos, which means one who is sent. Apostles were individuals chosen and commissioned by Jesus himself to be his messengers and representatives. Along with prophets, they are the foundation of the church. Prophets were individuals who received divine revelation and communicated God's messages to the people. They played a crucial role in speaking God's word, bringing guidance, correction, encouragement, and insight to the church. In the New Testament context, the role of prophets is seen as distinct from that of the Old Testament prophets, but still important for the church. Evangelists were individuals who had a special gift and calling to share the good news of Jesus Christ with others, particularly those who had not yet heard or accepted the gospel. The term shepherd or teachers comes from the Greek word poimen, which means shepherd or teach. These was more of an equipping function, rather than a religious title that was to be revered. In the scriptures, they were never viewed as the clergy who were hired to do the ministry. Their purpose and function was to oversee and equip members of the body of Christ. It is the members of the church who are to do the building of the body. These verses highlight the diversity of gifts within the church and underscore the importance of each member functioning in their God-given role for the building up of the body of Christ. Verses 14 to 16 Growing in Christ Paul warns about being tossed to and fro by false teachers and their deceitful schemes. He emphasizes the importance of speaking the truth in love so that believers may grow up in every way into Christ, who is the head of the body. Paul highlights the interconnectedness of the members of the body, stating that every part is necessary for the growth and building up of the body in love. Verses 17 to 24 the new man in Christ. In this section, Paul contrasts the former way of life, characterized by feudal thinking and darkness, with the new life that believers have in Christ. He urges the Ephesian believers to put off their old self, which is corrupted by deceitful desires, and to be renewed in the spirit of their minds. 
Paul emphasizes the importance of putting on the new self, created after the likeness of God in righteousness and holiness. Verses 25-32 Living in Righteousness and Unity Paul provides practical instructions for the believers in this section. He emphasizes the importance of speaking truthfully and avoiding falsehood, expressing anger without sinning, and not giving the devil an opportunity. Paul urges believers to work and to share with others, using their words to build up and encourage one another. He emphasizes the importance of putting away bitterness, wrath, anger, slander, and malice, but instead, showing kindness, forgiveness, and love to one another. In these concluding verses, Paul encourages believers to imitate God and walk in love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. He emphasizes the importance of avoiding immorality, impurity, and greed, instead, giving thanks and living lives characterized by love, purity, and gratitude. Overall Summary Ephesians chapter 4 emphasizes the importance of unity in the body of Christ and the role of spiritual gifts in building up the believers. Paul urges believers to live a new life in Christ, putting off their old selves and being renewed in their minds. He provides practical instructions for living in righteousness, unity, and love, encouraging believers to imitate God's love as demonstrated by Christ.